you know so I used to be a Christian growing up as a kid very you know spiritual biblical just because that's the type of family I was raised in and I remember so much of that life I didn't really understand it and I guess that's probably why I like ventured away from God once bad things started happening to me as a kid as well on my 12th birthday yeah exactly I wouldn't say my exact 12th birthday but in my 12th year but I was a couple months shy of turning 13 and you know, I will have to say that because of that influence as a child and at least knowing what it, what the Bible said and what Jesus said and God said, whenever I started having thoughts or actually started thinking about a lot of things I was seeing in society back in 2020, which a lot I was, I'm not gonna lie, was completely oblivious to. I was one of those individuals who thought that, oh my God, that could never happen. That's just cuckoo for crazy. You know, why would our world want to, you know, think about cutting off little kids' body parts all, all all in the name of letting them live their true selves. And I'm like, that's such an odd way of putting it too. You know, that sounds absurd. <laughs> you know, live your true selves by cutting up your actual self it doesn't make any sense to me. But here we are. And I remember in 2020, when I was remote, actually. Like, you know, there's just... <sighs> My background, you guys... Yes, I am a computer scientist by trade. I've always been a curious individual. In mathematics is, some, is my undergrad. There are some things that logic simply cannot make sense of. And a lot of this started happening to me in the year 2020. I would hear little voices. Yes, I know that sounds crazy. But I would listen to them and I did exactly what they said. These voices had me tune into things that I would remember or recall later. And by me recalling those things, it helped me prepare on what to do and what not to do. I was saved from not being forced to take the vaccine in order to keep my job. I got to witness things to really see for myself, well, witness certain events that made me get up out of my house and go to really witness for myself if I'm being lied to by the public. <sighs> There's been times where I've been strapped for cash being a, being a computer scientist, you know, a lot of things just happening all at once. And somehow there's still a way. Somehow I'm still able to survive. I think that was a sign for me to start listening to again, a listening again, to be born again. And the more I read the Bible, the more in a way I start to become less angry about not understanding what's going on around me. I don't lack 
I, I mean, I don't lack. I, I don't lack the understanding of what's going on around me. I do, however, lack sophistication when it comes to speaking about it with other people. I, like, I don't want to be angry when trying to tell them what they're doing is wrong. I don't want to come across as being judgmental either. I just can't sit by. I've never been one of those individuals to sit by and not do anything or not say anything when I see something wrong is being done. I remember when I was a child, I always thought my mouth would get me in trouble. I felt like me speaking out about things is the reason why I was hurt so much. I would cry. I would feel like I'm abandoned. Like, I would feel get so introverted all the time. I, be, I, would, I would say I became more introvert because I felt like anytime I said anything, I would always be told, oh, you're a child. You don't know what you're talking about. And I felt like I was being punished for it. But now when I get on social media as of late, then, you know, I don't, I haven't really been punished. I haven't really been posting much because I'm not that great at being spontaneous in my thoughts. I'm better, I'm, I'm better much, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lot better at writing. I think that has to do with being on a spectrum. I, I mean, even writing lab reports growing in, in grad school and in college, I hated writing long lab reports. I rather, I, I liked writing very succinct lab reports that can be literally defined and explained in an equation, one simple line, because honestly, that's what things boil down to in my opinion, when well, you're using logic at least. But like I said, there are some things that can never be explained using logic. Sometimes they're just that unexplainable. But ever since I started going down this path, especially when I get on Twitter, When I start using scriptures from the Bible to help me validate my reasoning when I'm explaining it to individuals, I don't curse, actually. My words, whenever I tweet them, are, how can I say it? They're softer. And the responses that I get, well, of course they're going to be more like, oh, you Christians, oh, you Christians, oh, you Christians. But that's all they can say. However, when I don't think about how Jesus would have approached the question or answered the question or how God would want us to respond, I get I believe vile in my responses. They come across as something that's not very palatable to swallow. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be that way, but I have noticed that when I stop and think about what would Jesus do, what would Jesus say? I'm, my mind is put into a different state that make me, that makes my um, sentences just come across not as harsh. Another thing I was, I've also noticed is like, and this might be a little bit TMI, a lot of the things that I used to do, I stopped doing them like immediately, like sentence. I don't smoke anymore and I remember when there were times I tried to quit smoking and I wasn't you know reading the Bible I wasn't curious about the Bible I wasn't curious about certain things that Jesus and God would say I could never do it on my own never it felt like 
it was an addiction I just could not let go and then one day after I started reading the Bible and you know being born again saved again and truly I've never I will say this I've never ever 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 did not believe that God didn't exist I just or Jesus didn't exist I just didn't want to to acknowledge it but ever since I came back to that acknowledgement like when I was a child those things that I used to do I don't want to do anymore and I used to like when it comes to sex or whatever right or lust I don't get that anymore it's so weird. I'm like, am I going through menopause or or do I just not find those things meaningful to fulfill anymore? It's weird how that works. <sighs> I wish more people can feel like that. And I'll pray that more people feel like that or become like that. I do want to learn more scripture or actually force myself to read more. So I'm going to make a little app, use the skills that God gave me to help me, to help others. I'll just read a chapter at a time. Well, I will code a chapter at a time, import a chapter at a time. And I feel like that will help me more with getting closer to him. But you guys, call it what you may. There are other powers at play in the world and this probably makes me sound like I'm crazy or losing my mind but I'm not I'm completely sane I just know and have seen and witnessed that there are things that can never ever ever be explained and to try to make sense of it well you'll just drive yourself crazy you just have to have faith that God does exist. He said those things that will come to pass will come to pass. And it's not on your timing. It will be on his. And when it does come to pass, just believe. Have faith. So, in essence, you're not supposed to make sense out of it. You're just supposed to have faith. It's something that only children have. Because they're innocent. But anyways. That's my post for today. Probably for the week. I think I have other things that I need to do. Maybe my calling isn't writing, maybe my calling isn't making videos, but something else. Maybe it's writing. Well, have a blessed Sunday. I know I will. <laughs>